close. Copy 30, 30. <laughs> My name is Drake Olson and I have a ski plane service here in Haines, Alaska. The hippie name for it is Earth Center Adventures Incorporated. Uh, we've kind of adopted Fly Drake. Clear. Clear. Our motto is we'll get you there, we just don't know when. Got an awesome pilot here, Drake. Uh, he's been flying in these mountains for a long time. I've been talking to Drake for years. I've known him for a while, telling him my vision. And the next thing I know, I'm pointing to the furthest peak out that we can see, and now we're 50 miles from town and, and way deeper than I ever thought we'd be. Drake is a good man. He was a race car driver. Like, he won the Porsche Cup in 1985. Just an incredible talent. And he he flies his plane like a race car. It's so nuts. You know, the pilots are gnarly in Alaska. Those guys, um, you know, they're on the same plane as us going and hiking these heavy lines. They're living that same reality with what they do with their planes. Even though looking down on these cirques and glaciers, they look flat, there's all these different features all the time humps and rolls and crevasses and stuff. And um, every place that we had looked at made me shudder with fear. So when Jeremy saw this and there was good lighting on it, we was lucky, really lucky. Challenges are always the same, really. The depth of snow, quality of snow, and uh, the weather. The mountains will dictate. They, they really don't give a shit about your agenda. Yeah, Drake, um, this cloud just came in. Um, so it seems like the weather's moving and going pretty fast. If you had a problem, the airplane didn't get off the ground or you had an engine failure or something, you were into bad, bad stuff pretty quick. I mean, it, that's always got a guy's attention when if you don't take off, you're into Serac land and it drops off into seracs and crevasses for 3,000 feet. And I, I just wanted them to be safe because rescue is, would be tough, you know. Um, rescue could take some time. Hopefully I'm home next to my wood stove and I have plenty of food and I probably just had a beer or something, so I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you guys, you guys are suffering out there, but you're made to suffer. That's what it's all about, it's part of the suffer. So, um, in seriousness though, if a call comes in a, and, and you're out of food, you, you try real hard to get it to them because it could be a while. If you can make water and you've got shelter, you're probably going to be fine. But um, you would have been all right, I brought you a, like 18 Miller High Lifes and some power bars. Hell, you could go for a week on that. That was shit you could expect from Drake. Like, the day he dropped us off in our first camp, he took off down the runway and we were like, all right, see you later. He circles back around and he's got his hand out the plane and he's holding something. And we're like, what the hell is that? And he drops this package. And Jeremy runs over and picks it up. <laughs> And he's got a smile on his face and he opens it up and it's it's the calendar of the still like uh, power tool girls that Drake had hanging in his hangar. I guess he thought, you know, 27 days on a glacier was too far too long to go without without ladies. So <laughs> stoked us out. This is rock and roll. This is really good stuff, and I, I'm glad to be a part of this. I'd, I wouldn't want to have been anywhere else in the world or any other time 
or anything. And uh, I could see it in their faces too. He's a guru, really. I mean, I learned a lot from uh, Drake. I mean, one of my favorite lines was like, you know, I kept being like, we'll just feel it out, Drake, we'll feel it out. And he's like, yeah, man, it's, it's all just one big feel out. And I use that in the mountains a lot, as it, it's, all, it's one big feel out. I don't know what the future holds, but are you interested in taking us out again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I felt lucky to get through all that. Actually, it really, no, I, uh, I'd take you guys anywhere. You're a good group. You guys got your shit together. You, you drink some real weasel piss beer <laughs> and rot gut whiskey. I don't know. I'd have better booze.